A community continues to rise after a fatal wreck in September killed three Hardin County teens. The gang doesn't leave anyone behind. They always stick together, and um, so we can't not add them to this. The favorite colors of 18-year-olds Carrington Mosley, yellow, Alex Neal, pink, and Garrett Salters, white, were sent up to them via balloons, along with messages from family and friends. To know that the community is still thinking of my son and, and the others, uh, Carrington and Alex, but for me as a mom, it makes me proud that he had such an impact. The balloon release Sunday evening capped off an event that aimed to help 17-year-old Jaron Benavides and his family. It's been life-changing. They, they've offered up prayers, which is always the best support to me. There was strangers even coming to the hospital, uh, strangers that were friending me, messaging me on, on Messenger. Benavides was the fourth teenager in the car and not only survived, but defied the odds. Following the accident, he was airlifted to the hospital with serious injuries, including a major amount of blood loss. Doctors gave him only a 50% chance to keep his left leg, but Jaron continued to fight. They expected him to recover um, in no less than six or more months, and he has went far and beyond that. Within a month and a half, Jaron was out of the hospital. Inside the Saratoga Volunteer Fire Department, the community rallied around the young man, participating in an auction and other activities to help relieve the pressure of medical costs. Physically, Jaron is expected to make a full recovery, a miracle really. But the challenge of being in that car on September 9th won't be an easy thing to cope with. I worry about him. You know, he's the only survivor. And um, we don't know what demons he deals with every day from that day. Madison is the mother of Garrett Salters, Jaron's friend, who was in the back seat with him that tragic night. She says he threw himself over Jaron during the wreck, showcasing his big heart, even though it meant taking his life. My son um, saved him, and uh, that's just so like him. He was that way. Two days after the wreck, the sky portrayed this figure, a magical resemblance of Garrett, looking down on everyone. Being his best friend, I think that we're going to miss his smile and his laugh the most. Keep your families close because you never know when you might have your last day with them. So make the most out of what you got. Though the road to recovery is far from over, Jaron has a love and support to keep him going. He's a tough kid. And I feel like he carries a big burden, you know, but they live through him. In order for me to get my son to um, push himself, I'd always tell him to G up. G up and carry Garrett. Carry care. Carry Alex. Because he has to. He was left here to do this. A memorial sits along Highway 787 near Hunt Road, just north of Saratoga, to remember Carrington, Alex, and Garrett. Their lives are also reflected through a living symbol who has accomplished so much so quickly. Although Jaron is out of the hospital, he's still in a lot of pain and is unable to put pressure on his left leg, forcing him to use a walker to get around. Yet, his determination points to an early holiday present for his mother. I wanted for Christmas, all I wanted was to see my son walk again, and I'm going to get that. Awesome. In Saratoga, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.